said, did he do me? <laughs> maybe it's come hard after that to make it right. Hard or what? This hard. Mr. Aisha, what did you write? Uh, I can make him Jadidu. Yes. Why aren't you saying it? <laughs> yes. Adalikal Baitu Jadidu. So that's what I'm telling you. Adalikal. No, Adha, you said Adalika Baitun Jadidun is wrong. Adalika Baitun Jadidun is wrong. Baitu Jadidun. Al Baitu. Adalika Al Baitu Jadidun. This is the Badal. Remember the Badal? Adalika. After the Ismu Ishara, the noun which comes is called the Badal. Adalika Al Baitu is this house Jadidun. Azalikal Baitu. Azalikal Baitu Jadidun. Okay, not Al Jadid. Jadidun. Alright. Then no, it is very old. La La Huwa Padimun Jiddan. Very old. It is very old. La Huwa Padimun Jiddan. Okay, Padimun Jiddan. Hua, and you'll use Hua here because you're talking about Bait. Bait is masculine. Then, is this car from Japan? Or this car is from Japan, sorry. This car is from Japan. his Sayyaratu Min Al Yabani. his Sayyaratu, not Sayyaratun. Okay. Hadihi as sayyaratu min al yabani. Hadihi as sayyaratu min al yabani. This knife is from Germany. Hadihi as sayyaratu min al yabani. Germany, Germany. Germany is. Almania, very good, very good. Hadi his sikinu min Almania. Hadi his sikinu min Almania. Should I take Habak? Because I didn't know how to spell sikina in Arabic letters. So. It's okay, as long as you wrote it correct. I mean, you know it, how to say it correctly. Spelling is not this class's main concern. Spelling mistakes, you need to go to the previous class before this. That's where we learn how to do the reading and writing Arabic. Okay, but yeah, as long as you knew it, then you're fine. Okay, next. That spoon is from England. That spoon is from England. Okay. Yes. Britain. So you changed it from England to Britain. Yeah. It's in English here. It's very difficult. In Kaltarra. In Kaltarra. Like television. Television. Yeah. But you are fine. Britannia is okay because you know it's it's the same. I think they take over here. Tilkal milapa tu min in Kaltarra. Milapatu. Milapatu. The spoon. Tilka al milapatu min in Kaltarwa. Okay. Then this book is for Muhammad. Hada kitab. Go li Muhammadi. Hada al kitabu. Al kitabu. Li Muhammadi. Yes. Hada al kitabu li Muhammadi. هذا الكتاب لمحمد هذا الكتاب لمحمد then this doctor is from India Right. So, Hadi hit Tobi Batu, Hadi hit Tobi Batu, Minal Hindi. Or you can say Hada Tobi Bun or Hada Tobi Bu, Minal Hindi. 
Hazat Tabibu Min Al Hindi. This car is for the director. Hazi his Sayara to Lil Mudir. Lil Mudir. Lil Mudir. Lil Mudir. Hazi his Sayara to Lil Mudir. Okay, so how are the grades today? Any better? 15. 15. 18. 18. 19 and a half. 19 and a half, mashallah, mashallah. Excellent. Mm. 14. 14. Not bad. Uh, you guys are mostly above 10, so that's what I care about most. Brother Frank, any words you got in there? I got a bunch of words. I'm not sure how much credit to give me. I, 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 I could never get the sense of the sentences. Though. Be generous. <laughs> <laughs> give yourself half for each of those words. <laughs> so you're fine, inshallah. That's good. If you're picking up on words, that is good. Vocabulary is very important. Okay, good. So let's try to let's try to finish off this page today. For, from Mudaf Mudaf Ilahi. Okay. Next word which we need to do is last time we did Allahu Malikun Nasi and Allahu Ilahun Nasi. Today we do Kullu Nafsin Kullu nafsin za'iqatul mawti. But uh, my question is that, uh, why is what in here, uh, I don't see any proposition. Why do we have mawti here? Not mawta. Because there is mudaf mudaf ilayhi. Za'iqatul mawti is mudaf mudaf ilayhi. Oh, adjective. Okay, so it's mudaf mudaf ilayhi. Possessor and the possessed. Okay. So kullu nafsin. Kullu means everything, okay, including all things. Nafs, what is nafs? What is nafs? Nafs, yeah, you can translate it as desires, but here it does not mean desire. Right. Soul. All souls. All souls, meaning all life, all creation. Okay, nafs. Okay. Kullu nafsin. Okay. What is this kullu nafsin, by the way? It's another mudaf mudaf ilayhi. Kullu nafsin is also mudaf mudaf ilayhi. Okay. And then you have za'iqatu. What is za'iqatu? Taste. 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 Okay. The taste of something is called za'iqa. Okay. Al maut. What is al maut? Death. 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 Al maut is death. So, kullu nafsin za'iqatul mawti, what will it mean? Every living thing is going to be based death. Every, every soul, being. every yes. human being, every soul, every creation of Allah, every life will experience the taste of death. Okay, and this is one of the famous verses from the Quran. And you can see how uh, subtle Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uses subtle words here to refer to something which is very hard. Death is never easy. Death is one of the hardest things. Actually, according to one of the hadith of the Prophet, peace be upon him, he said that the most disliked, one of the most disliked things to Allah is death. He created it for a reason, but he dislikes it because the believer dislikes it. You know, along with the disbelievers, the believers also dislike death. Nobody wants to experience the pain of you know, transitioning from this life to the next. And it's a very painful moment. So here Allah, in a very beautiful way, He put that whole message that everyone has to die one day. There is nothing which will stay forever. 
And this is a reply to those beliefs uh, of